happy to be in Knox County. Thank you so much, Congressman Burchett, for inviting me and my husband here. I just want to start really with two words. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and the Tennessee Holler reported earlier today on Lauren Boebert making an appearance in Knoxville, and she had some nonsense to spew. It is an honor to serve in this time. I believe that many of us in this room believe that we are in the last of the last days, and that's not a time to complain. That's not a time to grumble, to be dismayed, to be disheartened, but a time to rejoice. You get to be a part of ushering in the second coming of Jesus. I remember a time when people like this would flee to some compound somewhere in the sticks and patiently await the return of Jesus. But now they just run for Congress. On Twitter, a lot of the, the little Twitter trolls, they like to say, Oh, Jesus didn't need an AR-15. How, how many AR-15s do you think Jesus would have had? Well, he didn't have enough to keep his government from killing him. So... As the devolving of the American political system continues, we see more and more of this praise for Christian nationalism, and now we apparently see that the MAGA GOP is convinced that they have some hand in bringing back Christ, which is funny considering that Donald Trump is the antithesis of what Jesus stood for. But you know, try telling them that. Now to the real question, why is Lauren Boebert just a few weeks out from an election all the way in Knoxville, Tennessee? Well, as the Holler reports, she was brought in by Representative Tim Burkett, who is over the 2nd Congressional District of Tennessee. He is up for re-election in Tennessee as a House Rep, and of course, this was a fundraising event for him. Unfortunately, Knox County has a fairly low voter turnout, despite being home to a large university. Assuming Boebert is here as a star guest for the fundraising, I'd say they didn't exactly get with they paid for. It's Tennessee. If they wanted a church sermon, they could have walked a mile down a road and found it. This, however, speaks to the alarming rate of boldness the GOP is displaying when it comes to embracing the radical right base. Those that celebrate the end of times as opposed to fighting against it are people that shouldn't be in Congress, period. Full stop. Also, the separation of church and state has only become more and more blurry as the right gained traction in their media campaigns. Why are we still having this conversation? If you want a good example of how government and religion just don't go well together, look into the creation of the Church of England and Henry VIII. He literally changed the church to reflect his own personal goals and flip-flop depending on who he wanted to marry. This in turn led to years of turmoil between those of Protestant and Catholic faith, again dependent on who was the head of the government at that time. There is no acceptable amount of religious rule in America. We are literally founded on the opposite of it. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion. That's from the Bill of Rights, for y'all that don't know or pretend to love the Constitution and still haven't read it. Now, to say that we have a long history of interpreting the Constitution is an understatement, but it is worth noting that among the founders themselves, there were varied ideas of religion and abstinence from religion. But those on the right, who both confidently tout the idea of America and at the same time say, we are on a nation founded solely on Christianity have lost it. They are full of it, and I'll bet you some of them know it too, but those evangelical votes are all they care about. Again, it's not rocket science. Say a couple of things about saving lives and babies' souls and slap a Bible verse on there, and you've got a modern-day Republican. The same ones, mind you, that constantly vote against helping people. So very Christ-like of them. The hypocrisy never ends, but their terms in the House just might. Get out and vote, y'all, or we may see them anoint Donald Trump as the second coming of Christ. And that's not something I'm waiting to take a chance on, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.